Blessed day everyone! Kamusta po kayo? It's exactly 122 days simula po nung March 15, 2020. And we are almost halfway of the year 2020. And all of us are first timers in this kind of pandemic. At lahat po tayo ay nag a in one way or another. Because this is something unusual. This is something new to all of us. But praise the Lord because it says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 14, When times are good, Be happy, but when times are bad, consider this. God has made the one as well as the other. Therefore, no one can discover anything about their future. God knew it. He was not terrified by what is happening. Hindi po nataranta ang ating Diyos. And today in our week-long um, series on faithfulness, we will share God's word on remaining faithful in times of crisis. You know, we do not grow in good times. We grow in hard times. And crisis, crises are, are part of our lives. And I'm going to have them. You are going to have them. And Christians are not exempted in crisis. We all have our own crisis. May it be in personal, in our relationship, in marriages, jobs, finances, etc. Crisis is a personal journey we all have to walk through. Crisis in our lives reveal what we value in our deepest core. And speaking of personal, Psalm 23 is a very personal one because David experienced the Lord firsthand. In times of crisis, we have to choose to be to trust the shepherd. Trusting the Lord is a choice. Bakit po siya choice? Because we are dependent on the things that we see. We are dependent on the things that we can when we can take hold on to. When we are we during sickness, we can place our trust in our savings account that our savings can um can supply kung ano man yung pagdadaanan natin during the sickness. We even um, trust, we, we, we put our complete trust how good the doctors are. But we, we have to choose to trust and depend completely to the Lord. It says in verse 4 in Psalms 23, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they com- comfort me. Valleys are crises in life. It's dark. It's unfamiliar. But the shepherd knows that it is the best way to reach the high places or where the greener pasture is. Every valley is a pathway to something better. Kapatid, just have to walk. Lakad lang po tayo because we know that um, dunya, even though we walk, To the darkest valley, we will fear no evil because the Lord is with us. Second point is, in times of crisis, cleave to God's presence. It says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. One story tells an illustration on this about um, about a boy na every time po na matutulog siya, lagi siyang natatakot dahil doon sa tunog ng hangin sa bintana niya. At uh, one time, nagpasama siya sa kanyang tatay, paakyat sa kanyang kwarto. Ang sabi ng kanyang tatay, gusto mo bang iwan ko ng nakabukas tong ilaw sa pagbaba ko? Ang sabi po ng anak, kahit po wag nyo ng kahit po huwag nyo na pong buksan yung ilaw, samahan nyo lang po muna ako hanggang sa makatulog ako. In our crisis, madilim po yung daan. Sometimes hindi natin nakikita ang dulo. But actually, maliwanag man or hindi, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that alam natin may kasama tayo sa paglalakad. At sa pagtahak natin sa krisis na to, or if you have a personal crisis in your life, Let's hold tight to our Lord. Dahil alam natin na hindi po tayo iniiwan ng ating Panginoon. 
And the third point, in times of crisis, concede to God's leading. I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This signifies the shepherd's power against overpowering enemies. Minsan po, ang pamalo, ang staff and rod, it signifies discipline. Yes, it is. But you know what? Sa Psalms 23, it also signifies comfort. David felt comforted that the rod and staff are there at hindi siya ang may hawak noon. Hindi niya kailangang hawakan yon at maglakad sa darkest valley. Ang may hawak noon ay ang ating Panginoon. Because he knows, David knows, that God is taking over while he is walking sa darkest valley. And, we, and when we are in the valleys of our lives, God is leading us all the way and He never stops. In these times of crisis, let us remain faithful to the Lord. Yun lang yung, yun lang yung sinasabi ng Panginoon. Hindi niya sinabing hawakan mo yung rod, hawakan mo yung staff, pag may umataking kaaway, paluin mo. Hindi inuutos ng ating Panginoon yun. Ang sabing ganon sa Psalms 23, we just have to trust the Lord because we have a shepherd. Let us choose to trust the shepherd because the shepherd doesn't leave us. He knows the best for us. Kapatid, if, you have, if there is something that is um, bothering you now, if you are in the middle of crisis, or katatapos mo lang ng isang crisis, let us always remember that God is ahead of us. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. Let us pray. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, because you are with us all seasons of our lives. You are with us in the darkest times, and you never leave us nor forsake us. We can trust on that, Lord. You are our rock. And Panginoon, right now, if there are crises in our lives, yes, Lord, the world is under um, the pandemic, and we are glad, Lord, our hearts are giving thanks to you because you are in control of everything. We just trust you, Lord God. And Lord, if there is someone right now who is experiencing a personal crisis in, in his or her life, right now, Lord God, we speak the comfort that comes from you alone. We speak the love that comes from you alone. Thank you, Lord God, because you are speaking to that person right now. And Lord, sa amin po, as we go to the darkest valley in our lives, it may not be, this time, Lord God, may not be the darkest valley yet. But Lord, what, whatever it is, Lord God, that is the future is um, leading us, Lord. We know that you are with us. Your rod and your staff is comforting us. And Lord, we ask, Lord God, that you help us, Lord God, to be faithful. If there are doubts in our minds right now, Lord, we surrender it all to you. Lord, if there are little gods na doon po namin inilalagay yung aming trust and ang aming faithfulness, Lord, we surrender it all to you and we ask, Lord God, we repent, Lord God, we, we change our minds towards those little gods na inilagay namin ang aming faith, ang aming trust. We put our trust in you completely. We surrender our lives to you completely. And Lord, we lift up to you, Lord, our uh, government authorities, Lord. We will not complain. We will not rant. We will not say negative words. Because, Lord, kahit naman po kami na, nasa posisyon, Panginoon, baka hindi rin namin alam ang aming gagawin. But one thing we have to know, and this is the right thing that we should do, is to pray for our governing authorities. Thank you, Lord God. You are faithful, Lord. You are faithful. You will see us through, Lord God, in this darkest valley of our lives. Thank you, Lord God. We pray for our spiritual leaders, Lord, for our G12 mentors, for our pastors, Lord. We all have, Lord God, our um, um, all our personal crises. May mga nahihirapan, may mga paghihirap din kami na experience as pastors. But we, we continually um, lay down, Lord God, all our all our um, emotions, all our dealings, Lord. And we know, Panginoon, that as we continually go to, to our calling, Lord God, you are going to take care and you are taking care of all these things. We pray for our 
our pastors, Lord God, for our G12 mentors, for our IPHC mentors, for our GMC pastors. Thank you, Lord God, for taking care of our, all our pastors, Lord. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you, Lord God, for the wisdom. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for the rest, Lord God, that you are giving unto us, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for all those people who need healing right now. We declare healing in the name of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for the healing. There is a healer, and that is you, Lord. You are the greatest doctor. And Lord, we pray, Lord God, for our frontliners, sa mga tao, Panginoon, na na-stranded pa, sa mga tao, Lord God, who suffering, Lord God, from the infection, Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we declare healing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, because we can count on you. You are a refuge in our strength. Lord, help us to be faithful, Lord God, because, Lord, the one who calls us is faithful, and you will finish, Lord God, what you have started in our lives. Lord, we just bring back to you all the glory and all the honor. Thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness. We love you, Lord. We bring back to you the highest praise, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless po sa bawat isa. And may the peace of the Lord and the goodness of the Lord follow you all the days of our, of our lives. God bless you.